poem, remember this? You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. And the reason I put that in there, when we think about leadership, in most cases, we're not being told the truth. Okay? There's a lot of myths out there. There's a lot of be people being too polite and too kind. Our intent, I think, is good. I think the intent's good, but we're really falling flat. So today, get ready, because I'm going to tell you the truth. And as we move forward, if we work together, you will, we're, you're going to get your unvarnished leadership, if you will, versus uh, sweet talk. Okay? If you want sweet talk, you can go, I can recommend some other workshops for you. Okay? And <clears throat> to, to demonstrate this, some years back, I read an article in the Wall Street Journal by Jared Sandberg, and uh, it was about backstabbing in the workplace. I'm sure none of you know anything about that, right? <laughs> that was a really good article. So I emailed him and I said, oh, Jared, we measure that and more in our leadership risk assessment. And he was intrigued. He says, okay, he calls me and he says, I get thousands of emails. You're it this year. I want to find out more about what you do. So he agreed to take our assessments like you did, and he had coaching feedback with me. For his research, for his article, though, he took two other companies' assessments, and both of them gave him feedback as well. And one was Corn Ferry, multi-billion dollar organization, some of you know. But both of those uh, companies or consultants told him he had leadership potential and capability. It just needed to be developed. And I told him, don't even think about it. You don't have, this is not for you. Leadership is not for you. You're not well suited to be a leader. And he said, and I think she's right. I think Nancy's right because my dog won't even listen to me. You have a copy of that article. But what happened was, on his character assessment, which you're going to go through today, he only scored six percentile out of 100 on leadership energy. Guess what, folks? You need at least a, a pulse, a moderate score, to be effective as a leader. Okay, so that's kind of the first hurdle for leadership. So he got it. Um, but problem is, what the other consultants do and what happens in both the consulting world and academia is we tell everybody, oh, you can lead. We, we just need to train you. We just need to teach you. We just need to charge you some more for your MBA or whatever it is that we think you should get. Um, <clears throat> now, the fact is a lot of people can lead and lead well, 